After completing the initial setup, we'll need to go into the boom nozzle setup. In order to do that, we're going to go over to the wrench. We'll go into boom nozzle. In boom nozzle, we're first going to go to nozzle bounds. In nozzle bounds, there's several different fields. You have PWM minimum. Uh, default value is 10%. That's the lowest duty cycle that will let the valve run. You have PWM maximum, 100%. That's the highest duty cycle. It will allow the solenoid valve to run. You have nozzle pulse frequency. Our default value and recommended setting there is 10 hertz, or the valves will pull, pulse at 10 times per second. There's multiple options in here if you do choose to change that. Uh, low pressure shutoff, we leave at zero PSI. And what this means is when the pinpoint detects that there's zero PSI in the boom, it's going to turn the solenoid valves off so that no spray is coming out. The next field is valve type. No flow detection is the setting there. That's currently not an active field, so leave that to no flow detection. Valve diagnostics, we have a few different options in there. Disabled means that it doesn't look for coil or plunger health. When we set valve diagnostics to coil only, it looks at our solenoid valves and determines if they're in operating condition. And the last option and the default setting is enabled. In the valve diagnostics enabled setting, it looks at both the plunger and to make sure that it is moving correctly. And it looks at the coil to make sure that the coil is behaving correctly. So that gives you both coil and plunger diagnostics. Zero speed spray should be set to disabled. After we have our nozzle bound set up, we have two items left, nozzle setup and boom sway. We'll do a separate video for nozzle setup and you do not have to worry about boom sway. It is not an active field at this time.